Hey guys, Jax here for AutoMechanic.com. Back with the old Chevy again. Uh, got in it the other morning. It was a little bit cold out, not too bad. Uh, started to take off and the speedometer started twitching back and forth. Didn't want to shift out of first gear. Uh, wasn't really sure what was going on. Uh, plugged the diagnostic computer in. Came up with code C0055. It has to do with the rear vehicle speed sensor. So wh what I did is ordered a new speed sensor. Got a new one. Uh, not a whole lot to it. I I'll put a link down below. Uh, you can see it just takes one electrical connector and it'll take a 19 millimeter socket to replace it. So all you need, the sensor, the socket. Now I went ahead and replaced it and that did not take care of my issue. I did some more research. I found out that sometimes that does take care of it. Sometimes it doesn't. What I ended up having to do was follow the, the wiring that goes on up over top of the transmission. Uh, mine's a four wheel drive, so there's an added pigtail that extends the, the length of the wiring harness itself. And you can disconnect it on both ends and it'll actually, where it plugs in, run up over top of the transmission between the firewall and transmission right by the back of the engine. It tends to rub right there and can get into the wiring harness and cause it to do all kinds of different things. So that's what happened with mine. Uh, yours may just be as simple as the vehicle speed sensor. Again, that that's where I would start first. That's what I did do first. Hopefully it takes care of your issue. If not, you can try the wiring harness first. That's entirely up to you. But let me go ahead and show you where it's at on the, on the vehicle. So you can either jack your vehicle up or slide yourself up underneath the truck. Find the back of the transfer case. And right here. That simple. Here's your drive shaft. Go right straight up. Here's your connector, your wiring. Just unplug it. If you can see it too well, you just unplug it. Put your 19 millimeter socket on there, unscrew it, swap it out, put the new one in. Now, keep in mind that this is a plastic part, and it doesn't take much to break it loose or to take it out. Uh, you take it out, get a hold of your new one, and put it back in. Now there is a rubber O-ring on it, and your new one should come with the new rubber O-ring as well. And you can tighten it with your fingers or you can put a socket on it. That's entirely up to you. We're all set. And this is the wiring I was talking about. It actually runs back over to the top of the transmission 
and there's another connector up top along the back. So if that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. Now, for those of you that feel like testing the sensor before placing it, uh, there is a way to do that. Uh, as you know, there's only two wires that plug into this. So if you take your uh, volt, volt ohm meter, set it on ohms resistance, and what you're looking for is between 1500 and 2900 ohms. If that reads that, then it's supposed to be okay. I thought the sensor was cheap enough to just swap out and it surely was easy enough. Just take it one 19 millimeter socket and you're good. So if you want to go that route, you might see a better fit for you that way. And of course, once you get finished, you'll want to take your uh, code reader or your diagnostic machine, clear the codes out, and then take it for a test drive to make sure that everything's working the way that you wanted it to. Thanks for watching.